Good evening, everyone. My name is Heidi Geary. I'm the assistant principal at Ashley Ridge here over the early college program. We thank you guys for attending with us tonight and I apologize for the technical issues that we were having with the interest form. That link will be up at the end, so do not worry. Um, we actually got the link from someone else and I didn't realize that it was able to be edited, so that has been fixed. Um, if your child decides to get into the early college program, I will be their administrator and be helping with that. And in the background here, we have the two counselors. So I'm going to move out of the way, let them introduce themselves first, and then we will go ahead and get started. Hello, everyone. I'm Ms. Purvis. I have the early college juniors and seniors, and I also have students with the last names of D.O. through G. Hi, good evening, everyone. I am Miss Achilles. I have the early college freshmen and sophomores, and I also have freshmen students with the last names M through Z. Okay, so Throughout our presentation tonight, our counselors will be in the background answering any questions. I will not be able to see them due to the uh, PowerPoint itself. So please, if you have any technical issues or if um, you have any questions along the way, you don't have to necessarily wait till the end. They will be able to respond to them. And at the end, of course, we'll, we'll leave the chat open for questions as well. So the early college program um, our team, as you just met, uh, myself, um, the administrator, Ms. Achilles, as she said, 9th and 10th, Ms. Purvis, 11th and 12th, and then um, Ms. Heather Miller, she is our early college assistant. She's the one that stays with the students um, on the days that the professors may not be here because the professors do come to our campus for those early cohorts. So that would be the students that uh, would be entering the program for next year. So the first thing we want to talk about is college and career readiness. So Dorchester District 2 believes that being college and career ready is one and the same, that we have to educate our students that they can go straight into the workforce or they can go into college and that both are equally important and we want to provide students with opportunities so that they can create their own flexible pathways. Um, it's a global society that simply having a high school diploma is not necessarily enough, whether that means that they have a certification in a work readiness area or some sort of degree program. It's something that we want to make sure our students are ready. And this program is great for kids that may or may not know if they want to go to college yet. Um, it's really great for students that may or may not have had family members already go to college. Um, and it's good for the students that know that they are four year college bound and just want to get those first two years out of the way and under their belt um, when they graduate from high school. So what does early college mean? It is a three year program where students will concurrently earn their high school credits along with an associate's degree. So this program is a partnership between Ashley Ridge High School, Dorchester District 2 and Trident Technical College. Uh, the beauty of it, the program is free for all students, so it's a great way for them to earn their associate's degree as they finish their high school diploma have that done and they do not have to pay for anything as long as they maintain the requirements of the program. So that means things like keeping their GPA at a certain level is required. Um, it, it's definitely academically rigorous, but as long as they maintain that, everything including books are taken care of. So it's a, it's a really great opportunity, but students do need to understand that it is going to be a rigorous program because they are going to be taking high school courses and college courses throughout those three years, 10th through 12th grade. So how does this work? We are looking for 30 ninth grade students and we are, anybody that's in ninth grade this year is eligible to apply. So students will remain in their cohort through the program and follow a similar uh, course sequence. And we'll go over that in just a few moments, what that looks like. But we do want the kids, especially in their initial year, that 10th grade year, and even into that 11th grade year, the students are going to take the same classes and work together as kind of a cohort and a team. You might be having like, I can't hear you. 
Okay, I'm going to pause because I'm not sure if everyone is hearing me. So I'm going to pause just for a few moments. If you are hearing me, if you can type something in the chat, if you are not hearing me, um, if you can. Well, you don't have to say anything if you're not hearing me, but. If you're able to hear this, if you can please comment. In the chat. Ah. You said we can hear you. OK, good. I didn't want to move forward if you guys were not able to hear. So excellent. Um, and I'm sorry, I accidentally copied something in chat. All right, so again, we're looking for 30 students, but we anticipate that we'll have quite possibly 100 or more that would apply, and that is fine. Um, we keep students in that cohort program, though, to really give them support of other kids that are going through the same program and they can work together. And it really does promote collaboration of them um, working together. So what do they need in order to be a dual enrollment student? Um, they will need to have either a qualifying SAT, ACT, or the Trident Placement Test, which is the Accuplacer um, for certain courses. Now, please do not worry. I know that ninth grade students do not currently have that. That is not something that is a requirement for you to apply, but it is something that as you move forward, your child moves forward into more advanced coursework, they will need to have um, certain scores and our counselors will work with them. Um, they will also have to have a dual credit application on file. And the way it works is for every course that they take, they get their high school credit uh, one unit and it's three college credit hours. So anybody, if you've gone through college, it's probably very familiar. So for example, they might be taking a math class and get a math credit through Ashley Ridge High School, which fulfills one of their four maths, and that's three hours towards their degree program. Um, the, the performance does directly affect high school um, records and transcripts. So what I mean by that is a college course is weighted more heavily than a traditional college prep course here at the school. So it is going to, to be meaningful, but they also then have a college transcript, meaning if they score well on that, that goes with them if they ever decide to pursue a four-year degree. Likewise, if they aren't doing well, that sticks with them as well. So it's very important to understand that that college transcript is part of what they are working towards as well. So what are some expectations of the program? As we already stated, it's, it is a partnership between Trident Tech and um, our school district. It is a, a voluntary program. The student will have to be mature. They have to be advocates. We are here. We will do everything in our power to support them, but they are going to be in a college education setting for some of their coursework. So being able to advocate, be uh, responsible, be able to manage time, et cetera, study habits is important as students must earn at least a B or better to stay in the program. So they are required to earn a B or higher. And if they're accepted in the program, they will sign a code of conduct that we would go into into more detail. So just to kind of show you a little bit of what does this look like high school um, versus what college looks like. So high school, you're working towards graduation requirements, things that you have to have to get your high school diploma um, versus your degree requirements are certain courses that you have to have to earn your certain associates. Your scheduling um, might look a little bit different in their 10th grade year. They'll have time set aside in their high school schedule for those classes. Um, again, that is all happening as a cohort together as they move forward and move into more into their junior, specifically their senior year. It does get a little bit more independent as students have a little bit more flexibility. High school tends to have a lot of grades, lots of homework, classwork, test quizzes, lots of extra credit opportunities, so on and so forth. Again, college is not necessarily that way, depending on the professor, depending on the coursework. Some classes have very few grades, some it's, it's a lot, but definitely participating and doing well on the test is important. Um, 
and obviously then teachers versus going to your instructor or your professor for assistance. So the first and foremost most important thing is their high school diploma. Obviously that is the most important goal for any student that's in high school, but through the early college program, they will choose to either work on their associate of arts or an associate of science, and it is up to the students. So we just wanted to show you kind of a sample of what the three years worth of classes would look like for a student in both of those program areas. So if your child applies and is accepted and decides to work towards the associate of arts, they do begin in the summer and they do take two classes per summer. So that is important for your child and you to know that that is a commitment. Um, typically the classes happen at Ashley Ridge due to COVID this year, they did not, they happened online. So I can't tell you going forward what that's going to look like as I, I don't know for sure. Um, but they take kind of an introductory course, getting them used to things. Um, and then in the fall, they move into, I know you may not know what some of these acronyms are, but history, public speaking, Spanish, um, they have economics, English in their second year, uh, college algebra, so on and so forth. And then as you see into year three, that's where they get to kind of choose some electives, some humanities and science classes. But other than that, it is a prescripted schedule of pursuing a generic associate of arts and then same thing for the Associate of Science. There's not a whole lot of difference in the beginning. The coursework remains at the same. The biggest place that you're going to see the difference is in that third year where again, students are going to have a little bit more choice in their pathway. But those are degrees then that could transfer if they decided to go forward to a four year college from there. So what's the timeline? Right now we're in October, so right now we're just trying to put information out there and, and let students know about the, the program and recruit. Very soon, and by very soon I mean um, within a couple days, by probably Monday of next week, we will have the student application ready for you. So the window to apply for the early college program is November 1st through November 30th. We will have the, the application available online. We will also, for anybody that's listening or attending this, and you'll fill out that form that we struggled with at the beginning, um, they, you'll directly get an email about that so you guys will have the application um, for you and your child. So November is just getting students to apply for the program. Then in December, we will start reviewing some of those applications. And really December and January is when we will start scheduling interviews. There's a panel committee that looks at all of the packets um, from student applications. They do have to have teacher recommendations. They have to have a certain GPA, you know, be in good standing with the school. And then we will interview all of the students. And quite frankly, this year it might look virtual. I'm not 100% sure, obviously, due to the climate that we're in. Um, once all students are interviewed, um, Ms. Purvis in February is that selection day? Yeah, so in, as we move into February is when we will actually um, late January, early February be making our selections up to who's in the program and notifying everyone who's accepted into the program. That gives us the spring to then work with your child, make sure that they get the contracts. It will change their IGP. So some of your freshman students might already be having IGP meetings. That's OK if they get accepted into the program. We'll meet again with those students to make sure that we go over how their IGP will change in order to modify for the for the program. Also, those Accuplacer, if a student needs to take that to get in, like I said, that's when we will make sure that your student has access to that. So um, that really takes us to the end of our presentation. So right now we're going to open it up for questions and unfortunately we're not able to hear questions so you will have to type it in the chat. But in the meantime, and I apologize, I originally had a shorter link that when I had to recreate the form. In the meantime, I'd really like if you can fill out this interest form. The way you do that, if you have a phone, all you have to do is open up your camera on your phone and just kind of hover over this QR code in the corner. As you hover over it, it should pop up to take you to a link on your phone. 
Then from there, you should be able to just fill out your information of student name, parent name, phone number, email, um, address, and that kind of information. In the event that you are having trouble with the form for any particular reason, because that certainly could happen, um, our email addresses are going to be posted here in just a few moments. I'm going to leave this up for a few minutes, but um, our email addresses will be posted, so you're welcome to contact myself or the counselors. We can send you the link directly if you have any questions. This presentation is also going to be posted on our school website, so you can go back and look at it, and you can also tell your friends that maybe weren't available to log on um, at this time and listen. Um, to check it out. So, Ms. Purvis, Ms. Achilles, is there anything that I didn't say that you want to make sure we add? No? Okay. Is there anything in the questions that we need to address with, you know, verbally, if I need to address anything or expand on anything? Or accepted but change your mind later, does that negatively impact the student? Okay, so that's a good question. If you're accepted but change your mind, does that negatively impact the student? Um, as long as you change your mind prior to the summer, then it does not negatively impact the student. But once you enroll in classes, then you are starting to earn a college um, GPA. And so you don't want to pull out from classes. Now, is it certainly possible that you take a couple classes and decide that this is not a good fit for you? Sure, it's not common that happens, but it does happen. And no, you are not going to be um, negatively impacted if something were to happen and it, it just didn't seem right for you we would just adjust your for the next year or the next semester or whenever it time came around we would just adjust mm -hmm. your schedules that sound right counselors yeah, and just making sure that if that is a choice that you make um make it before the withdrawal the last mm -hmm. day to withdraw from trident classes yeah so if you ever decide to withdraw from a trident class they have different withdrawal dates than us so you wouldn't want to withdraw after their deadline because again you are talking your college gpa um, it's very rare i would say that we have anybody enter the program and leave it you know maybe one per year if that um, but it certainly does happen because it may not be for everyone um someone asked what kind of questions are asked during the interview Ms. purvis do you want to sure um, yes. All right, so typically in the interview process, um, you sit down and go over what your plans are for post-graduation. Um, you are planning on going to college, um, what your experience with um, the college application process is, kind of what your plans are, so that we can see if these courses are going to benefit you long term. Um, really look for candidates who are going to take the program seriously and who are going to make the best out of this program. Um, and again, people who are going to take these credits with them either to a four year college or directly into the workforce. Um, again, make the best out of the program. So the questions that we ask are geared more towards what Hoping to get out of this program. Alright, so hopefully that answered that. I also saw um, a question about when does this um, begin and summer 2021. So yes, your child in between their freshman and sophomore year would begin those two initial summer classes um, that they would would take. Are we still accepting only 30 questions? That's a great question. It would be my honor to have to to go to the district and fight for us to need more students in the program. Um, but yes, typically 30 because we look to do about 90 across the district. We give 30 per high school. Um, Ashley Ridge does tend to to have a lot of those kids. Um, so please don't discourage that from your child applying by any means. a lot of stuff to the chat. I'm just kind of leaving it open just because I want to be able to address any of the questions. I know a lot of questions are coming in and we are all working to 
answer those. This PowerPoint again will be published online um, on our school website. So you absolutely can have a copy of it and we will get that posted hopefully tomorrow. And I'll try to get Ms. Matthews to put that in her call out that way in case anybody that maybe didn't get a chance to log on today can see that. Um, another good question that came in is what is the minimum GPA to apply or be accepted into the program? Um, there was a great question about what is the minimum GPA required to get into the program. There are no minimums, but at the same time, there are also no maximums. So we again look for a good candidate who's going to be somebody who takes the program seriously. You got to keep in mind that with high school GPA, these courses are weighted the same as AP credits, so they're very heavily weighted in your GPA. Uh, it does not like keep students who fall below a 2.0 GPA for college purposes, so we look for students who are going to be able to maintain at least A or B average in their writing courses. So again, we're not necessarily looking for a high school GPA at this point. We're looking for good candidates who are going to be able to maintain at least a 3.0, um, hopefully higher in college. Again, A's and B's in the college courses is what we're looking for. Um, there was a question asked, is the student, if they don't get in this year, can they get in in a future year? Um, it is a three year program, so unfortunately they do have to enter in their freshman year. But with that being said, we have lots of students at Ashley Ridge that do take dual enrollment courses that are not part of the early college program. Um, and so there are opportunities for kids that maybe don't get in or don't feel like now's the right time, etc that they can um, get into that. Are the summer classes during the day? Yes, they are. Um, typically, they are up here pretty much every day of the week during the summer. I think it's Monday through Thursday, if I'm not mistaken, because they would have a Monday, Wednesday class and a Tuesday, Thursday class. And we usually have some like tutoring slash study, all, study hall hours in between. Again, that looked very different this summer. Trident is not currently holding classes on campus or even here. So it was all online um, where the kids use their devices to connect with their professors at a certain time. I don't have an answer. Obviously with this pandemic, everything's a little bit different. I don't have an answer if it will be on campus or not, but they do need to be prepared that they would be in class. Um, it's about a month. It starts the week after July 4th and ends the like August. the first week of August. Mm -hmm. So for those of you that are trying to figure out your summer vacations, <laughs> um, they will still have a little bit of a break. They have all of June off. <laughs> I don't mind at all. Yeah. Okay, so um, there's a lot of new questions in the chat that are kind of the same questions. So I'm just going to kind of breeze through um, the first couple that I see. A bunch of people have asked, the program is only restricted to 30 students. Yes, it is capped at 30 students. Typically, we have about 40 to 50 students apply. So um, that is a, a hard deadline of we, that we are um, not a deadline. I'm sorry, a hard restriction is that we keep those 30 students. Um, because again, you got to keep in mind the district is paying for these courses. Um, and more than 30 can be um, a lot in a classroom and we want to uh, keep the cohort together and have a good selection of students there. So yes, 30 students is the maximum. Um, a bunch of people have asked, what if we want to graduate early? Um, we are looking for students who are going to stay in the program for three years. If you're in the program for three years, you'll be earning your associate's degree and graduating from high school. So you got to keep in mind, if you're a freshman now, that means a total of four years. So if you want to graduate from high school early, of course you may, but again, our goal is to have students stay through the entirety of the program and earn either their associates in arts or their associates in science. So um, to answer that question, yes, you may. Again, that's not necessarily the, the candidate that we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Another question that's being asked a lot is the difference between early college and dual enrollment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good um, so yes, early college and dual credit the same thing. No, they are not. Early